In terms of traveling long distances, flying on an airplane is the fastest and easiest way to get to your destination. The only problem is that flat stretches of runway aren't always available in certain places. This means that pilots have to be particularly skilled to land on a runway that juts out from a mountain or one that appears in a narrow valley. Here are seven of the most dangerous airports in the world to land at. Congonhas Airport, Brazil. Congonhas Airport, sometimes referred to as Sao Paulo Airport, serves the city of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Because of the design of the runway, rainwater proves to be dangerous at this airport. The slippery runways at Congonhas Airport have been the cause of several accidents. In order to reduce the effects of rainwater, new runways have been put in. There are grooves in the new runways to collect excess water. The safety concerns at this airport do not end there. Because the area surrounding the airport is highly populated, the airport reduced the number of incoming flights. Due to the tall buildings nearby, pilots face a lot of difficulties during takeoff and landing, especially for the bigger aircrafts because the pilot gets little time and space to maneuver the aircraft safely over a sea of apartment buildings. The Kangenhaas Airport is one of three airports that serve Sao Paulo and is the second busiest in all of Brazil. Since 1943, this airport has seen 21 accidents. Tonkantan Airport, Tegucigalpa, Honduras. Getting through the mountains is only one hurdle to overcome for a safe landing in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. Tonkantan has a number of strikes against it. It's situated in a valley 3,294 feet above sea level. During descent, planes need to make a 45 degree turn to effectively reach the 7,000 foot runway located in a valley. Due to the surrounding mountainous terrain, passengers will experience a quick drop in altitude in order for the plane to line up with the runway. Frequent winds complicate matters, as pilots are forced to make several last second adjustments one of the most dangerous airport landings, Madeira Airport, Portugal. Located in off coast of Portuguese Sea is a small island of Madeira. On the 29th of March, 2017, the airport was rebranded and renamed Cristiano Ronaldo International Airport in honor of the legendary football player born on this island. The island is relatively small sized and hence the runway was built to meet the needs of people by using pillars. The runway was once infamous for its small size, but over the years it has been expanding. And in the year 2000, the runway was of 2,781 meters, 9,124 feet, almost doubling the size of the original runway. The landing strip sits between steep cliffs and the shores of the ocean. When an expansion project was planned, designers saw that the only option was to build a series of platforms on an artificial island extending from the current runway. Over 180 columns hold the runway up, which have to withstand serious shock loading during landings. Courchevel International Airport in France. Courchevel is the name of a ski area located in the French Alps, the largest linked ski area in the world. Landing at the Courchevel Airport requires some serious pilot skills, as it has the shortest runway of any airport at 525 meters. Not only this, but the paved runway has a downward gradient of 18.5%, which makes taking off even more difficult. To add on top of the already difficult landing, the runway is built right into the Alps, where pilots have to fly through a narrow valley even to prepare for descent. And during takeoff, if aircraft do not gain enough speed by the end of the runway, they simply fly off the edge of a cliff, hoping for the best. Gibraltar International Airport, Gibraltar. The Gibraltar Airport, sometimes called North Front Airport, is considered the most dangerous airport in Europe. Located only 500 meters from the Gibraltar city center, the runway for this airport cuts right through the city. While this runway isn't particularly hard to land at, an interesting design feature makes it incredibly dangerous. The main street in the area, Winston Churchill Avenue intersects the runway and has to be closed when a plane needs to land. There is a stoplight on the road telling cars to stop, 
but there have been a number of close calls in the airport's history. Princess Juliana International Airport in St. Martin Princess Juliana Airport is perhaps the most famous on the list, most notable for the public beach situated just before the runway. This placement often results in large and loud gusts of wind and sand to those enjoying the crystal blue water. For the pilots, hitting visitors is the least of their worries. The runway is only 2,179 meters long, which is very short considering the large aircraft that land here require more than 2,500 meters to ensure a safe landing. Princess Juliana was initially built for smaller planes, but the booming tourist industry has brought A340s and 747s into the regular traffic rotation. Tenzing Hillary Airport Tenzing Hillary Airport was originally called Lukla Airport, but was renamed to honor the first climbers to reach the summit of Mount Everest, Sherpa Tenzing Norgay and Edmund Hillary. This airport, located in Lukla, Nepal, serves those wishing to climb Mount Everest, as well as those wishing to explore the Everest region. Dangers at this airport include high winds, affecting maneuverability, and cloud cover, affecting visibility. But these aren't the scariest aspects of this airport. One end of the runway is preceded by high terrain. However, on the other end, there is a 2,000-foot drop. The landing and takeoff strips here are very short. The airport operates at an altitude of 8,000 feet, 2,438 meters, and has virtually no modern air traffic control features, not even lights, and very little electrical power at all. The high winds, cloud cover, high terrain, and the huge drop make this the most dangerous airport in the world. Hope you found the video interesting, and I would request for you to press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. You can see the image of a bell below. Please click on it to receive notifications of my future videos. I'll see you soon, and thanks for watching. <laughs>